Hello, my friends. Okay, I'm just sitting here on my couch. I have my Shakeology. This is so unattractive, but I just shook it today. I drink it every day. We don't talk about it a lot, but I love it. I swear by it. Marshall drinks it too. And if you have it in your cupboard, I really think you should use it consistently and see how you feel because it's not for everyone, just like nothing in life is for everyone. Um, but it might be exactly what you need. It might be just the one thing that's off kilter. That is an easy fix, right? Especially if you find a recipe you love, right? But that's not why I'm here to talk to you. I wanted to talk about how the tiny things compound. And we've talked about this a lot. It's, you know, no newsflash that the small decisions are so easy to talk yourself out of, but those are the things that compound the most and the fastest and everything compounds. So it could be slippery decisions to eat the cookies or to sleep in instead of doing your workout or to watch more Netflix. Like those small things seem so insignificant until you allow them to compound. And on the flip side of that, the little decisions that you choose, the ways you choose to prioritize your journey, the, the wins you choose to highlight, those things also compound. So where do you want your energy to flow today? What, where are you gonna, what are you gonna collect proof of? So set a timer for five minutes, okay? In whatever area of your life you need to work on today, maybe that's movement, maybe that is watching some of the nutrition stuff, maybe it is reading a book, or meditating just five minutes. Will five minutes change your life today? No, it won't. But will five minutes today and five minutes tomorrow and five minutes the next day start to snowball and help you build the belief and create the consistency in your life? Absolutely 100%. So do you have five minutes to devote to that next level version of yourself? You absolutely do. Could it be super tricky and maybe you squirrel and you pick up your phone 50 times and you start stop? Yeah. Because, you know, it's something new, maybe. And it's something maybe a little uncomfortable. And that doesn't mean that you don't do it. I want you to think of this as hygiene. Not something you have to do, but something you get to do. You get to show up to your journey today. That's a freaking gift. If you're able to move your body, that's awesome and amazing. Move your body for those of us who can't the way we want to right now. I can't move my body the way I want to. And it's really frustrating. And I can lean into that frustration and allow it to snowball. Or instead, I can say my imperfect journey, it still matters. And it still counts. And I can choose to create my highlight reel. I can choose to collect my wins. I can choose to set the timer for five minutes to read my personal development and then to meditate. And if it's herky-jerky stuff, start stoppy. Oh, well, I still touched my journey. If you touch your journey today, I want you to collect your wins. I want you to allow that to compound. I want you to be so freaking proud of yourself because this is never all or nothing. If you're coming to this journey with an all or nothing attitude, I'm telling you, it's going to be super unsatisfying and frustrating versus saying, I am excited that I get to choose to show up today. You get to choose to show up today. So I'm super excited and proud of you wherever you're at in your journey. If you need help, I would love to be here. To, I would love to help you, but I can't read your mind. So message me so we can figure out a plan and do the next right thing. But you know what you need to do. Five minutes. You can commit to five minutes because you're here watching this video, which means you were already here on this platform wasting time, right? So five minutes to the next, five minutes invested towards that next level version of yourself. It's, you can do it. You can do it. You're already doing it. I'm proud of you. Collect your wins.